without your information so let's go ahead and open the app so as you can see it says uh, you need to send notifications you need to accept yes for the notifications and move on and the next step is it's going to show you some terms and conditions so you're going to scroll down for the terms and conditions if you want you can read them and you can press the button next once you select next you need to log in or create a new account if you're using it for the first time you need to create a new account enter a new email and a new password and you need to verify your email through an otp which sent you on an email which you entered so i'm just going to verify it quickly and we'll go on so once it's verified the next step is to uh, move on select next if you read out all these instructions so it's going to show you one of these options so if you're traveling to canada by air or if you're traveling to canada by marine or if you're traveling to canada by land you can select these options so let's say in my case in my example i'm traveling to canada by air there's also other information on this app for example important travel information travels without symptoms and you can read these informations and instructions if you want so for now let's just go on and press entry by air so is your first question is is your travel exempt if you select no in this question then you'll be getting four options so the four options are uh, if you're please indicate the type of exempt travel if you're a cross border essential service medical support or trade transport if yes select one of these if no go back and then you need to select the yes then it says what is the travel of your purpose of your travel family reunification foreign worker study or the other option so i'll just take my example and i'm just going to press study international student if i'm going as a student you can select your own option according to your category so i'm just going to go ahead and select study for my case and then i press next and then i think i need to upload a few documents so firstly i need to enter my flight details so let's say if you're landing in canada at toronto or montreal you need to enter the airport over there for my example i'll just take toronto airport for now the toronto pearson terminal one airline let's say if i'm going by air canada i'll just enter the air you need to enter your own airline uh which you need to enter the airline in which uh, the airline which will actually make you land in canada not the layover one and then you need to enter your flight number and then the date and time of arrival i'm just taking an example over here right now i'm not mentioning my flight this is just a random flight number and flight time arrival let's say i'm arriving on the 2nd of february at 5 a.m in the morning and uh, once you enter all this information you can just go ahead and press next and then you can use camera yes you need maybe basically you need to access the camera because you need to scan a few documents then you can scan one of these documents which you'll be taking with you as a travel document for us we usually take passport so we select passport and if you're unable to scan it you can just enter the information manually and you can just type it out so let's say so basically you can select one of the documents it could be a passport a pr card nexus card or any other card for my case i'll just take a passport for now and i'll fill out that information so i'm just going to fill out an example let's say my country of issue is india you can enter your own country of issue you need to enter your passport number i'm just entering a random passport number over here you can check out the passport number at the end of your passport page and then you're just going to enter your surname and your name i'm just entering a random name to crawl let's say not my name but let's say maybe david so david to crawl and you need your date of birth is 2nd january 2001 this is entering a random date of birth and you need to enter your own information and press next once you press next uh, you can also add another traveler so let's say if another person is accompanying you you can also add his, his or her information in your own app but they need to have their own app as well uh, but if you're traveling alone then you don't need to add any other traveler and simply move on and press next once you press next you need to answer a few questions like uh, you need to enter your details of the quarantine plan so let's say your destination type for your quarantine is a returning home you can enter that place if you're staying with friends or family enter that if you're staying in a hotel motel or a hostel accommodation select that but if you're traveling uh, and staying in any other place go ahead with others um, but for my case i'll just take an example of a hotel and i'll just uh, enter a random address for the hotel this is not my address it's just a random address and then i move on and press next you need to enter your own address and the next thing as you can see is you need to enter your phone number in canada so if you don't have a canadian if you do have a canadian phone number just enter that number if you don't have a canadian phone number simply put your email address and they'll contact you through your email select the language english and then you move on to the next step this step basically you need to do a self-assessment covid19 test you just need to answer a few questions so the first question is do you have accommodation where you can quarantine for 14 days i think everyone does because if they're traveling to canada they do need to have a quarantine place so you select yes and then you select next are there vulnerable people at the location where you plan to quarantine uh, no for my case but if there are you can select yes or no and let's go uh, is your quarantine accommodation a group living environment or shared with different families uh, no in my case but if you have different families together then you can select yes uh, the next question is can you have food medication or other necessities delivered yes are there any travelers listed uh, having one of the following symptoms could be fever cough if you have you can select yes for my case it's no most likely it will be no and then you need to select no and then you need to submit this form after verifying all your questions so once you submit it it will issue you a new code a unique code which you can screenshot and show it at the indian as well as the canadian airport it will also send you this particular code this particular set of numbers on your email address which you need to show at the indian as well as the canadian airport so yeah uh, people that's about it for the arrive can app uh, it's this it's that easy but if you still do have any questions about the arrive can app about any question do drop down a comment and i will get back to all of you if you do like this video if you find this video helpful guys please do leave a like please do subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos and uh, till then i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching